Well, hello there my darlings, welcome to a new video here on my channel. I have to admit, <laughs> this is one that I have been ever so slightly putting off because I know that what I'm about to do is a monstrous task and I'm not even over exaggerating. My wardrobe room, yes, I have a walk-in wardrobe. If you've not seen the room before I leave the video, the kind of tour up on the screen here, I have a wardrobe room. I have a rail behind me here. I have a triple door wardrobe in this room here as well. Um, every door in my house has hooks on it with clothes on and currently the banister to the stairs is also covered in clothes. It has clothes draped over it so needless to say we are bulging at the seams with clothes and a massive massive declutter and organisation is needed. Add on to that the fact that at this time of year I will usually do my seasonal wardrobe changeover which is when I bring spring summer things down from the loft um, and pack away winter things and during that process I will analyse every single item, decide whether I'm going to keep it or not, uh, whether it deserves the space in the wardrobe or whether it needs to be stored away to be sold at the beginning of next season. So for example any winter coats that I don't want to keep I'm not going to sell them now because it's not timely. I will pack them away in a suit case or a box that says winter to sell and I'll start selling that around October or taking it to charity shops around October that kind of time when it starts to get chilly. If you're watching this when the video is newly uploaded obviously we cannot ignore what's going on in the world at the moment. We are currently um, in quarantine in lockdown here in London so we're not allowed to leave our house except for very important things like infrequent grocery shopping, medical reasons and things like that. So obviously I'm not going to be able to tootle down to the post office and send any clothing so I think what I'm going to do is photograph it. Um, I think I might try Depop again, it's always just been a bit of a faff. I find that people always want stuff for nothing on there and a lot of my clothes are from premium retailers so it's not the kind of stuff that I want to sell for a fiver. And to be honest, I don't think it's worth the postage and packaging and the stress to send things for such low amounts of money, to be totally honest. So I think I will just photograph things. Hopefully on Depop I can create a draft. I don't know if that's a thing, I don't use it that often. But we'll see, and fingers crossed that's how we're gonna do it today. I've seen so many wardrobe decluttering videos here on YouTube, just adding mine to the mix. Obviously so, with so many of us spending so much time at home, it does seem like a really great um, time to do it. I hope you find this video fun and interesting. And if you're also doing your own wardrobe declutter. I filmed a video recently and it was my eight top tips or actually eight questions to ask yourself when decluttering your own wardrobe. So things that you need to ask yourself when you pull out every item of clothing. So I'll leave that video linked on the screen now here as well because that is really really useful. I will be applying all of those questions and all of those tips to the wardrobe decluttering today. Right darlings it is time to tie the hair up because I am not productive with my hair down. <laughs> That'll do, donkey. <laughs> okay, and let me show you what we are dealing with. So this is the kind of cute rail. Um, this is my video background, and it's mostly brand new season things, so I don't think there's anything here that I will want to declutter. Just checking that this is my Yes, newest skirt from Reese because I do actually have an old season version of this which is too small for me. That is the first tip which is to try everything on because you never know what won't fit you anymore. I'm actually going to do shoes separately because I want to do an entire shoe collection video and try on all my shoes and also do a big shoe declutter but first I need to give myself a pedicure because I do not have nail varnish on all of my toes. This is a big confusing wardrobe. There is no organisation in here. What a mess. I'm embarrassed to even show you. There's probably a lot of stuff in here which I can get rid of. This is actually some of this is like stuff that I've been sent recently. This is on loan from the Outnet, although I feel like they've probably forgotten that I've got it. This is a lovely summer dress, which I'm not going to have a chance to wear for a while, from Anne Louise Boutique. Got two very similar coats here, one from Gant, one from Burberry. I'm not going to go through every single item. Can't even get into this one. Oh my god, just mess, mess, mess. I mean, I've got like fur coats right next to summer dresses. It clearly does not have any rhyme or reason. And then again, just a mess up at the top here. As I said, on the backs of doors, coats, dressing gowns, rucksacks, this, oh god, how embarrassing. This is the 
um, stair banister. You can't even see that there's a banister under this. But this is because I literally, I needed to get that dress out of my wardrobe to shoot a picture. Did a collaboration with Disney Plus and I wanted to wear like a kind of gown in the living room. Um, so I had to pull so many coats and dresses out of my wardrobe to get to that dress and then I couldn't get them back in. So everything is just splurging out here. And then this beautiful room is my walk-in wardrobe room. I'm just wearing a very comfy little jumpsuit to do this today, nice and practical. Another door here with stuff on the back. I can't seem to bring myself to get rid of this jacket. This is my Topshop faux fur coat, but actually all of the sleeves um, and all of the pockets have come undone, so I might try and repair that later on. Um, I've got time. This is a self-portrait dress that I need to try on because I have a feeling, tragically, it doesn't fit me anymore. And then we've got just so much clothing um, in every single door. There is more clothing, so much stuff, different seasons all in one. And then this is the one that's actually hardest to get into. I mean, I've got like ugh, so many bags up there, autumn stuff mixed with winter stuff, mixed with summer stuff. There's, it goes all the way back here as well, which is the section that I can't easily get to. So yeah, we've got a very big task ahead of us. I think what I need to do is start trying stuff on. The easiest thing to do is get rid of any stuff that doesn't fit me, but what I'm probably going to do is go up into the loft. It'll be easier if I talk to you this way around. I'm going to go into the loft and see if I've got any empty boxes or any empty suitcases so that once I decide that something is not staying in my wardrobe, it can be photographed and then packed away, ready for the time when we're allowed to go back to post offices. Alright, so I've got a suitcase down from the loft set you guys up on the windowsill and I'm just going to tackle this section by section. So I'm going to start off with um, this section nearest the window. It's mostly midi length dresses and crop jackets. I don't know why those two go together but that's how I seem to have organised it. I'm going to start by going through um, and just pulling out items that I don't feel like I need anymore. I'm going to photograph them and then put them in the suitcase ready to be sold when we're allowed to go back to the post office. So first of all, I seem to have this like pipe dream that I'm the kind of person that wears cropped jackets, but I'm really not. I just never reach for them, even in springtime. I just feel like they're not me and I've got so many lovely ones. I've got this suede one from Reese, this light pink leather one from Reese, a gold metallic one <laughs> from Karen Millen. Another leather jacket from Reese. This one I've held on to for so long because this meant so much to me. Getting this, um, it was, it's even got the old Reese label, like that's not even their branding anymore. I got this when I worked in their store, saved up so hard for it, and I did wear it while I was working there, but it's just not my style anymore. And then also this kind of sandy coloured suede jacket from Reese. <laughs> Why did I buy so many, knowing full well that I just never reach for them? I think I always thought, oh, it'll be so practical for just popping on over the shoulders on a spring afternoon, but I never ever do. So if I was a professional declutterer and I was giving someone advice, I would tell them to get rid of them. So I'm going to be brutal and get rid of them. I've just noticed that this one does have, oh, it's really hard with this lighting, um, a makeup mark on the collar. So I'll have to Google ways of getting that out. Okay, so I've just hung them up over there. Um, oh my goodness. I think I starred this in the video that I did with Freddie. You can see it's actually on the hanger inside out. Uh, it does still have the label in. It's like a satin bomber jacket. Again, it's something that I bought thinking, oh yeah, this will be great for popping on over the shoulders. I'll look so cool. I'll look so trendy. In fact, let me show you. It is actually quite a nice jacket. I mean, it's a really nice jacket, but it's not adding that much warmth. It just adds another layer. And I'm not really about the utilitarian style. It's just not really my vibe. It does seem a shame to get rid of it because it is such a practical thing. But if I was like walking around the garden or going dog walking, then I would just put something scruffier on. It is a shame, but for something to be in my wardrobe for so long and still have the tag in, if I've not found a use for it in the year or so that I've had it, because I'm guessing this was from their spring collection last year. Okay, we've got a lovely dress here. I think I bought this on 
ASOS. Um, it is needle and thread. I don't really wear dark coloured dresses that much. Um, and to be honest, I have to say, I think this tool bottom is potentially a little bit youthful for me. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm not an oldie, but yeah. I think I've got other special dresses that I do prefer. With all of these things, by the way, I'm going to list them, um, but I'm not going to put stupid, stupid cheap prices on because they are all lovely things. And if people aren't willing to pay like what they're worth, obviously, like I'm going to list them for half what I paid for them. But if people are not willing to pay what they're worth, I'll just keep them because I'm not that fussed about getting rid of them as you can tell. So I do love a good faux fur gilet, find them so cosy. Um, this one from Reese I've had for a couple of years, love the colour of it, it's almost like a silvery, lilac-y, beautiful colour. So definitely keeping that. I'm going to put the things that I'm keeping back in. Another gilet. This is one of my favourites, do you guys remember this dress from Reese? I cannot wait to start wearing it again when it gets a little bit warmer and when we're allowed out the house. Very cute little dress here from Ted Baker. It's got the floral applique detail um, around the neckline and around the collar here, but I have got a lot of white dresses um, and obviously you wouldn't be able to wear this to a wedding. I feel like I don't need to keep this. It's very sad, but I'm going to put that in the pile of things to sell. This is one of my favourite dresses. This is from Zimmerman. It's quite unusual. It's got almost like a corset detail. I think I got this toward the end of summer last year, so I haven't worn it a mega, mega amount, um, but I definitely will. So that is going straight back in there. Another gilet. This area is so badly organised. Okay, on this coat hanger, I do, of course, love my pleated skirts. And yes, I will be keeping this one from Zara because it's just a classic. A white pleated skirt with an elasticated waistband is not only comfortable, but also very practical. So this is staying. And then also on there, I've got this pair of faux leather trousers from River Island. I have to say, Leather trousers like this always come into fashion and um, these are faux leather, so um, much more afford they're much more affordable. Having just put my hand up them, I can feel that the lining is a little bit ripped. I probably was being lazy and tried to take them off without taking my heels off. But because this style of trouser does come into fashion pretty much every winter, I'm definitely going to keep those, but not on the same hanger as my pleated skirts. I'm just going to chuck them over there for now. So this jacket is going to be another one that I have to make a tough decision on. It's another one that's still got the label in, another kind of cropped jacket. This one is in like a boucle material, which I think, oh actually that is pretty nice. I forget that I've got these most gorgeous things. This is actually really, really lovely. Yeah, I am going to keep this one and I need to remember to wear it. God damn it. Do you remember this beautiful one from Topshop? This has got the handkerchief style hem. Gorgeous wearing in the festive season, so I'm going to keep that. And then, is this my Chloe? So yeah, C by Chloe and Tory Burch. I actually have two skirts that are very similar, but I love this bohemian style of skirt. So I'm going to pop that back in the wardrobe with my Zara pleated skirt. I've been very fortunate to be gifted a few needle and, uh, needle and thread dresses in the past. This one was one from last spring. I absolutely love it but I haven't actually really worn it to an occasion yet but when again the self-isolation finishes Sophie is going to be christening her little baby so I think that would be a really nice christening dress and like summer event dress. Hello darling. You okay? Well Darlings, quick phone call with Mama, and I've just made myself a strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, banana, tiger nut milk, chia seed, almond, um, carol protein powder, and oat smoothie. A little mid morning snack to keep me going. While I was talking to Mum, I've now got a big pile in front of me here of all the bottoms so jeans, skirts, and things like that. All of these I think are going to need trying on because I'm not sure how many of them fit me. So while I enjoy my smoothie, I'm gonna have a try on session. And because I need some entertainment, I might pop on a YouTube video while I do it. Reaching for 
as you just saw from that little hyperlapse. I've tried on most of my skirts and my trousers that were in this section. We now have this pile of things to get rid of here. So loads of skirts, obviously the jackets we saw before, some skirts and trousers down here which sadly no longer fit me or I do not need them in my wardrobe anymore. And then the much smaller selection over here are the pieces that I'm keeping. So I'm just gonna pop these back in the wardrobe and then move on to the next section. Alrighty, so please ignore the shoes because, as I mentioned, that is happening another day. We now have gaps up at the top here. Gaps do not normally exist in my wardrobe. So I've got the jacket section over here with the gilets and the little jacket that I'm keeping. Dresses up here. I have a feeling there's more dresses in that end section, so I'll probably be moving them over to here. And then look at this. We have spaced out hangers. I actually have room to do that. So I've got trousers that are folded over hangers, um, some of my satin midi skirts, wool skirt. I did end up getting rid of a couple of other wool skirts because this is the only one that I really find that flattering. And then my slightly shorter skirts down here and then also a pair of jeans. I'm probably going to bring the jeans to the front actually because I have surprisingly been wearing them more lately. So I'm very very pleased with how we got on there so i'm going to close these doors job done until i do the shoes next we're going to move on to this section and because it's tops i find that like i don't really ever grow out of tops as in they're not gonna they're not going to not fit me so this is more going to be an opinion piece of keep versus um get rid of i think i'm probably going to need some more space in my get rid pile though so i'm going to take this into the next room and i will photograph this after lunch section to do because um, I tend to only really put things in that section when I already know that I love them so not really too much tends to leave that section however I do have a good few items here um, this lovely little Topshop blouse the reason I'm getting rid of this is because this is really an autumn blouse and yet it's really light fabric plus I have something quite similar in more brownie tones which I feel suits me a little bit better um, this is also a Topshop blouse I just think that the western trend um, and this kind of eyelet detail as much as I really like it, it's not really classic, so I don't think it really has a place in my wardrobe. This I really liked when I had slightly like smarter meetings to go to, it's a button up blouse with a bow detail. Having said that, maybe I will keep it actually because when the western trend does come in, which it always does, this with a suede skirt does look really nice, so actually okay, I've changed my mind on that one. This self-portrait top, I have tried so many times to wear this, but I always come up with a reason, some reason or another, not to. It's not the most comfortable. Obviously, it's really beautiful. I wore this in a video that I did with Freddie, where we challenged each other to style up the least worn things in our wardrobes. And I really liked all the outfits that we came up with th with this, but even after having that inspiration, I still just don't wear it. So I think it is time that I finally say goodbye to that. Um, this is just a high neck top from Reese. I just have quite a lot of classic tops and others that I prefer to that one. So in the outro, which is quite classic, this is a really beautiful quality t-shirt from Me and M, but I think it's just a little bit oversized on me. It's quite thick material. Um, I actually put it on the other day and I just felt a little bit masculine, so 
I am moving that one on. And then another blouse, this one is from Ted Baker. It's got a really nice detail actually. So this kind of pulls through like so. This would just be a really lovely workwear blouse. It doesn't get much use in my wardrobe and I feel like someone else would be able to get so much wear out of this. So yeah, that's my reason for getting rid of that one. And then down here I've got a few bags. Um, now that I've got my Loewe, I feel like I'm just gonna wear that and not any of these high street straw bags. This little bag from Reese, I just don't use it because it doesn't fit that much inside even though it is the most beautiful quality. This little pink straw hat, I just never find myself wearing, um, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This grey velvet bag from Kate Spade. I just have a lot of handbags and I feel like I don't use that one very often. And then this one from Michael Kors still has still has the packaging on the tag which proves that I don't wear this bag and so a good opportunity for someone to get a brand new Michael Kors bag and then I've got this cashmere scarf from Iris and Ink which is from the Outnet. It's just a plain grey cashmere scarf. This would be really lovely for someone to have but I prefer my pink one so that is my reason for getting rid of that one. Okay I just took a short break to um, get some fresh air outside in the garden. It is so lovely because our garden is walled on either side and it's just a little wind trap so it's so nice and warm out there i was literally sat outside kissing the dogs just wearing this um it's probably only like 10 12 degrees today but it just felt so lovely to get some fresh air and some sunshine um so now i'm going to tackle this last section which is going to be probably the hardest at the top there is just a load of bags um like travel things like travel pillow travel blanket and then i've got a mixture of coats and dresses i'm going to try and be quite brutal with coats as much as possible because they take up so much space and i know i have got too many so i think we should do a bit of a try on session even though it's toasty in here in fact i might open up the window um and let's do some trying This is challenging with so many distractions today. Um, so I just had to take a phone call. It's actually a few hours later now. I took a phone call and then uh, had some lunch. And then we decided to take the dogs for a quick run around the park, obviously keeping well away from anybody else. And we are allowed to go outside to exercise. So we did that, um, made myself a cup of coffee. I can hear helicopters circling above the house. Um, yeah, I've made myself a coffee so that I can finish off at least coat section. So far I've only managed to get rid of one coat that is so loud. Are they landing in the garden? Um, yeah, so far I've only managed to get rid of one coat and a couple of dresses. So I need a bit of a caffeine kick and motivation to try a little bit harder with the coats. a few to get rid of here because I really do love all of my coats. Um, I've got a couple here that this one um, I think was actually gifted from Reese. So of course anything that I remember was gifted. Um, obviously the money will go to charity. Still got the tag on. It is like a satini trench coat. Absolutely beautiful. Another trench here, a really lovely lightweight spring one again with the tag still in. And then we've got this really gorgeous almost robe style kind of champagne -y coloured coat. So we've got to a point, um, I know everywhere looks like such a mess right now, but I have done what I can with that wardrobe. As you might have seen from me dashing about a second ago, I have also sorted the rail, um, where everything, not the rail, the stair banister. What I have realised is that there are still quite a few pieces hanging around in my wardrobe, such as my infamous Reese Lawson coat. I say infamous because this coat is two or three years old and I still see so many of you clicking on the links for it and so many buying the updated version. 
love this coat so much but this is obviously like a deep winter coat whereas i've got lighter spring coats and um i mean it's coming to the end of march already so we really are in spring now i think i need to put my winter coats away so the ones that i'm keeping um i was so optimistic the suitcase that i bought down from the loft earlier i thought that'd be big enough for all of my stuff i was gonna sell absolutely not <laughs> so what i'm gonna do is bring that suitcase in here and put my like deep winter stuff in there stuff that i'm definitely not gonna be wearing until at least like september october november 2020. Turns out you can't fit that many winter coats into one suitcase, so I'm probably gonna have to do another one. Oh my goodness, that is hot work. So what I like to do when I put a suitcase up in the loft is label it really clearly with what's inside. So I'm gonna run downstairs, get some paper and some sticky tape so I can label up these cases. Unfortunately, my husband couldn't come with me because he's recovering from a stroke. Yesterday we went to the cemetery in Fair Oak and Eastley to put flowers on our mother's graves and we called in to see a friend. So you called in to see a friend? Yes, and she didn't mind at all. She How old is your friend? 78. You yes. are irresponsible. No, I'm not. You are I'm irresponsible not. going no, to see not. your friend. You are, ca you are causing panic. I'm not causing panic. You this are. is the government advice that you are flouting. No, the government is stupid. I mean, Boris Johnson is an idiot, so I won't even go down there. Chris, I no. sincerely hope that you are wrong. I'm very nice. It's re always nice to talk to you. I sincerely hope you are wrong. But if you went around all those places in the shops no. where we know people are not staying no. apart, and then no. you went to see your 78-year-old friend, yes. you are irresponsible. You are a frightened man, and I can't understand why. Because I don't want to pass this on. I don't want to get it, and I don't want to pass don't it on. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. You, you survive it. What are you worried about? But the person I pass it to might what not. Your 78-year-old friend might well, not. I'm, 70, I'm 75. So you well, might I, not. So if we get it, we don't actually care. We've had our lives, so stuff it, you know. So you're happy to die for a day yeah. at the beach? Yeah, yeah. Mark, bye, Chris. <laughs> wow. Sorry, but I can't deal with anything like that. So please ignore the mess on the top here, but the next thing I'm going to tackle is this set of drawers here. As you can see, they are overflowing and I can't even shut them properly. So what I'm going to do to begin with is just pull everything out. What I would ideally like this to continue being is my gym stuff in this one, um, loungewear, and then we have like jumpers and casual trousers. So that's what we're going to try and get it back to, but at the same time clearing out a lot of the things which are maybe old, super old and stained or ripped or anything that doesn't fit me anymore so this is the next step Okay, we are doing well with the drawers. I didn't manage to actually get rid of that much, um, but instead it is now nicely organized. So I've got my sports bras, my gym tops, my gym kind of jumpers, great for yoga, and then my gym leggings. And then up here we have got my loungewear bottoms, uh, tops when it's a bit warmer, cozy top here, um, and then more loungewear bottoms. That is definitely the most uh, used drawer right now. Down here, this drawer is looking a lot emptier. I've just got a couple of thermals because I'm not wearing them quite so much. The rest of them are here. I'm gonna pop them in the case to go in the loft for winter. T-shirts, and then these are some kind of bodies. And then I can put this back in there, the one that I was wearing earlier to do the try-on clips. Up here, we have got a very neat looking chunky jumper drawer. Again, for like gardening, walking the dog, you know, these are really casual jumpers. Up here, we have got more casual jumpers. Um, again, for like doing stuff around the house. 
and then this drawer is looking lovely and organized these are kind of like relaxed bottoms you know my reese time trousers i actually got rid of the gray pair because i just never wear them excuse that very messy area and then i've got some pattern trousers here some leather leggings, my traveling Kate Spade leopard print trousers, and then some lighter colored jeans. Here we have got some jumpers, which were folded, but I actually feel like they would be better hung up. So I'm gonna pop those in this section, seeing as I have got the space. There we go, this section is now looking pretty full, but that is okay, I can still maneuver my way around here. <laughs> Hello again darling so it's now the next day i got so exhausted yesterday it was um a manic day believe it or not work wise and then there is also something else that charlie and i are working on which i'll be able to be able to update you on so soon but is taking up all of our energy and is hugely affected by the virus so um yeah we just had to do quite a lot of work on that yesterday as well but to update you on the wardrobe decluttering, as you saw, the last thing I showed you was a hyperlapse of doing the wardrobe in this bedroom here, and I pulled a lot of stuff out. I have another big pile down here of things that I'll be getting rid of. So I just wanted to sign off and say, I will be popping a lot of this online. I am going to try Depop. Um, and you're actually going to see this video tonight, so Friday night. I'm going to try and list as much as possible on Depop over the weekend, so I'll leave a link to my Depop down below, and if I decide to sell, sell anywhere else, I'll leave that linked down below as well. If there is anything that you have seen within this video that I'm getting rid of that you are absolutely desperate for, we can do it outside of Depop, we can do it via PayPal, um, so please drop me an email. I would like to get rid of as much as possible and I would love for you guys to get it rather than just a random person on Depop. So please do email me if you have seen something within this video. I might even set up like a Dropbox and put the pictures of everything that I'm selling in the Dropbox and then if you would like to receive a link to that and see all the pictures, I'm sure you guys know the clothing already, you don't need to like see it on already because you've probably already seen it on me. So yeah, just drop me an email if you are interested and just to say please be patient with postage I'll be looking into different ways of posting it out tonight whether that means booking a slot at the post office or I've spoken to a few people and they said that there are a few services where you can actually have your post picked up um, like apparently Hermes do that I'm not sure how it'll work if you guys are abroad because I know lots of you are in the US I'll probably have like a minimum order value, like minimum £100 worth of stuff if you are in the States, just because obviously everything is so up in the air at the moment. Um, but just to say, keep an eye on my Instagram because if stuff does go up on Depop, I'll probably announce it there and also on my YouTube community page. So just make sure you are subscribed if you would like to see that. And in addition to the stuff that I have been sorting out in this video, there probably will be more because, yeah, just need to get rid of as much stuff as possible. This house is, as I said at the beginning, bulging at the seams. But darlings, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like... I feel cleansed having removed so much stuff um, and I really hope that it's going to go to a good home. I know you guys will love it if you end up buying any of these pieces. So yeah, that's all from me. Wishing you guys a wonderful weekend at home and stay safe darlings. I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye.